Yeah, there you go. Um, you know, first of all, yeah, congratulations on, on getting through. And, Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I'm wondering, you've done other shows. It's one thing doing Dancing with the Stars. It's a show that you know going into it. It's got a certain level of professionalism. You don't have to worry about it. What was sort of your thoughts as, as you're considering doing this show? Because it's, it's a brand new thing. You have no idea if it's going to be great or embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it was kind of a kind of full spectrum of emotions. And like uh, I, I had overall, I had a good gut feeling that it was going to be awesome. Um, there was like my brothers. So they, the show wanted my brothers to do it first. They wanted my brothers, the driver era to represent Colorado. And um, and that didn't work out. And um, they were like, uh, and then my manager was like, well, what about Riker to represent Colorado? And the show was like, absolutely. And from then, once we started like talking to producers and talking to um, like working with, I worked with Andreas Carlson and Jimmy Jansen um, and Desmond Child on my song. And once that started happening, it was like, oh, this is like, we have some hit songwriters I'm working with here. These are some big heavy hitters in the music industry, you know, this is going to be good. Um, and, pr and then pretty much from there, then I had, a, I had a phone call with the creative team for the performance and that, that took it over the top. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be incredible. Well, I know it's from your performance. Um, you know, you didn't have an instrument, which I, I don't think is usual for you. And just, yeah, you know, <laughs> as I, I think that's the first time I've ever performed uh, like singing without an, a music instrument. So at least since I was like three. <laughs> how, how long did it take you to sort of, get comfortable with that and there was choreography going on there was a lot a lot going on with the song yeah well with, with the song it's got a, a pretty good dance groove to it so i knew that i wanted to you know coming out of dancing with the stars i knew i wanted to showcase that and be different um in that regard um plus the i just because it's so focused like on me as like the the lead and the singer um you know and like the front man for lack of a better word uh i just wanted to do that i just wanted to perform and sing and not be stuck behind an instrument um but mainly because the song has this really uh uplifting positive uh dance groove to it and i really wanted to showcase that now i know um you know one of the things about being in the show business is you have an ego you you, you know you don't <laughs> want to be <laughs> you know you want to be successful and what was your what was going through your mind that week while you're waiting to find out do you make the cut to the semifinals because not all of the better known performers have have made the cut yeah um well so i took it upon myself to distract myself and go do something so i went skydiving all week <laughs> um which is something that i love i'm very passionate about uh, i'm a full licensed skydiver you know so i can go do it by myself um, and my dad was doing this world record uh, 110 way of skydivers over 60. So he was down doing that at the drop zone. And so I was kind of tagging along doing my own jumps. And uh, I just didn't I didn't really think about it. I was just having fun, you know, hanging out with my dad and spending time skydiving. And then um, when, when we got back to the show Monday morning, we went through like dress rehearsal. Then it was like, oh, man, I whatever happens, happens. You know, I mean, episode 103 uh and i might be biased but i think it was one of the best episodes just as far as talent and caliber of songs everybody was really fantastic so i was really just kind of like you know whatever happens happens everyone was really great and i'm just grateful to be a part of this show even once and so now that i'm moving on to the semifinals i i i'm i'm just ecstatic i'm so excited so moving on you know what is it that you you're wanting to accomplish with this obviously you're starting to have discussions about this is what I, I want the presentation to be. This is what I want the song to be. What, what's your uh, your thoughts about that? Because it's it's obviously going to be even more competitive. So, yeah, it's going to be really more competitive. Um, you know, this is going to kind of start narrowing it down. You know, I guess there was only a handful of people that were maybe like, oh, okay, that that song was, uh, you know, n not as uh, not at the match the level that uh, you know the, the the people have moved on from, and now everyone's moved on. So it's the uh, the competition is going to be really tight. Um, I don't really know how we're going to take the take my performance to the next level because we came out you know swinging. Uh, I mean, we had pyro, we had confetti, we had lasers, we had just incredible staging and incredible lights. So you know, we're going to definitely try to raise that bar. Um, but it's going to be tough because we, we, we really went all out for that first episode. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I think I'm going to have a production meeting here in the next couple of days. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably just end up taking it upon myself to just uh, amplify my performance and my band's performance and just try to uh, maybe we'll get more dancing in. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel comfortable in the process basically saying, you know what, this really isn't for me, you know, or I'm not comfortable doing this. Uh, you know, like, can we can we talk about this? Definitely. The I, I am. That's what I love about the entertainment industry in general. For me, uh, specifically being a filmmaker and a musician, I love the collaboration. So, you know, I, I want to hear other people's opinions and I'm going to be completely straightforward and honest always um, with, with my opinions and what I'm comfortable with. And um, I think the the creative team on American Song Contest really gets that. And they are great collabor collaborators as well. Uh, I mean, just from that first performance, we were all, you know, throwing ideas around. And, you know, when we watched the playback um, from the from the rehearsals and we're all talking about what cameras and where I should look. And, you know, it was a very huge collaboration. And um, I'm definitely comfortable, you know, speaking up uh, about what I feel is, is best and what's going to make myself have the best performance. You know, this has got to be a really exciting time. Just coming out of pandemic, it was a tough time for musicians everywhere. You know, they, they couldn't do live performances. They, everything was just up in the air. And now here it is, and you're on a, a TV show, and, and you're getting to perform in front of millions of people. And it, it must be almost sort of a, a new day for you. It really is. Um, you know, any chance to perform is, is, is an amazing opportunity. Um, and doing something like as big as this and as uh, just as full out as this, I mean, the stage is uh, amazing. The performances have been amazing. I'm just grateful to be a part of it. You know, I'm just, I would have been grateful just to do one episode. Now I get to move on and do the semifinals. I'm, I'm even more grateful. So uh, definitely coming out of the pandemic. I mean, we, I hadn't performed in a long time. Luckily I got to tour a little bit last year with my brothers um, at towards the end of the year. And, you know, that kind of fueled that fire um, inside me. And, and now there's there's nothing like live television. There's just something extra special about that. And to do it on a big scale is, uh, is, is very special. Well, you mentioned your brothers early on getting asked by the producers to do it. Have you heard from them? Have they basically said, oh, you know what, maybe we should have considered this? <laughs> uh, they haven't had any like uh, second thoughts about that. I think they're happy with their decision, but uh, they're very happy for me and they're rooting me on. And, uh, you know, my brother Ross is uh, definitely uh, kind of a kind of a big celebrity, um, especially in certain circles. So uh, he was kind enough to uh, to shout me out on Instagram and get everybody voting. And um, hopefully that uh, hopefully that'll continue on and we'll get to make to make it to the finals. Well, aside from the show, uh, you do you have anything in the in the uh, the offing of as far as your music or, or performing or or are you just sort of focusing on the show right now? Uh, I definitely focus on one project at a time. Um, I think that uh, I, I, I like putting all my energy into one thing, but uh, a couple other things are, that are on the horizon. Well, there will definitely be a music video for Feel the Love coming out um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, also, once the show finishes, I'll have more music coming out. Hopefully going to get on a summer tour this year. We'll see. Um, I'm also still playing bass for the Driver era, so I have a couple of shows with them coming up. Um, and then last year I did, uh, I wrote and directed a short film called Aliens on Halloween. It's a sci-fi comedy. So we've been taking that through the film festival circuit. We started out in Cannes, uh, which was really incredible. And um, so if that's playing at a film festival near you, you can go check it out. Um, and so we got uh, lots of selections from for that. And as far as film festival goes, a um, couple of awards as well. So we're very, very grateful. And because of that, I'm going to be doing my first feature film, which will uh, probably be shooting in the next 12 months or so, just now starting to talk to producers and a um, couple big actors to play the lead in this, um, in this comedy, action comedy thing. Um, I'll be playing the best friend. Um, and it's really funny. I think it's really funny. You know, the script is written. I, I wrote it. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple of years now, and I'm, I'm very happy with it, where it's at. So we'll see what happens in the next 12 months with it. Well, congrats on everything. And, and I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me on it. And uh, good luck with this. It's it's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm very excited. And uh, thank you, Rick. Thank you for talking to me. Have a great day. Bye.